Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh and I sell you stuff on eBay. It is Monday morning, we got quite a bit of stuff going out. Friday afternoon, Saturday was really slow with sales, but Sunday throughout the day, it really picked up. Ending in one great sale Sunday evening and then another really good one here Monday morning, which totally left out the storage unit while I was there. But it doesn't actually have to go out till Wednesday because I have two day handling, but man, I wanted to ship that out. Um, I'll throw it up on the screen right here. Um, little champion jacket, Pittsburgh State, Kansas, which is not a great college for, as far as collectability goes. So I didn't price it up kind of like I would have if it was, there's really good comp for a Cornell one. So if I had Cornell, probably would have put a couple hundred dollars on it, but just put a hundred on it and sold right away. Very, very happy. But anyways, I'm not gonna talk about that. Just kind of bummed I left up the unit. What do we got going on today? We got 45 orders going out, I believe. And also I've got this picture over here. I've had it for about two to three months I bought it and it's wrapped up and I don't, I have no idea what it is. Some sort of artwork, I don't know. But there was some really great artwork that I bought all at once. It's been selling off very slowly, but it's been selling, doing really good. And I'm curious to see what's in this one. This is the biggest one, kind of a mystery. So I'm gonna open that on camera after we go through all these orders, but let's take a look at what's sold. All right, I got media and clothing out first, including shoes, and then we'll go through everything else in just a little bit, mostly media and clothing over the weekend this cd did really good candle mass this came in the last big lot i bought i think I got like 18 dollars on this and then this had been listed a little while aj gint looks like somebody had sold it on amazon at one point judging from that sticker on the back and one vinyl iron maiden piece of mind um let's see oh this is the last of the music this is a little lot this came from a collection i bought and bought all the CDs, but these were all Bob Dylan, so I bundled them together. I think I got $16 for that. Very happy. This right here is my last current listing of bulk DVDs. 85 DVDs. I don't remember what it sold for. Probably around $25. You can see it up on the screen up here somewhere. But that's how I moved my bulk DVDs, in case anybody is curious. And I sold another Left Behind lot. I had three of these listed at one point, and I'm down to one. This is actually a repeat buyer. This is a drop shipper that's bought the same exact book set off me before. Very happy. Those are all hardback, hardcover. I actually bought one because I was one book away from completing the set. I was missing book two. So I bought one and spent like $4 on it, free shipping, in order to complete the set. I don't always do that, but sometimes when I'm down to just one that I need to complete it, I will. Here we got Peyton's Place, just a little vintage romance hardcover book. And Ebony, Pictorial History of Black America, Volume 1. Those are both going out. Let's see, what else we got for books? One cookbook, Better Homes and Gardens. Usually these with the red and white checkered print. Pretty much all of them, these older ones, do pretty good. The date on them is very important, condition's important as well. Better Homes and Garden, and then there's another brand as well. I can't remember off the top of my head. They both do really good. Here's a small Agatha Christie lot. Her stuff always does good. Usually around a dollar a book on these older vintage books is what I'm getting. I just have a small bundle, so I sold them as that, like that. We've got some Xbox games. Call of Duty Black Ops 3. This has been listed a really long time. Another Troll and I going out. You've been seeing me sell a ton of these lately. Very happy about that. I think we got four left, maybe? And 4x4 Evo 2 on the original Xbox. That's it for video games. DVD sales were very, very lackluster. Both of these I took very low offers on because they have been listed, I think, right at two and a half years at this point. This is new sealed. Got less than $2 plus shipping. And then also this Ocean Adventures. This is former library. Less than $2 as well. But they're both going out. Both gone. Moving on to bit better things. Let's do shoes real quick. Keens. I'm actually looking for a pair of these that'll fit me, but these were like a size 10 women, so not going to fit me, but they're pretty nice. I can pick these up anytime for a few dollars. They'll always sell great. Oh, these are some Doc Martens that have some really terrible painting done to them. I don't know if the camera's going to pick up just how bad this paint job is, but I'll let those go for $20. If these were in great shape, we're talking like close to 100 for these vintage docks, but man, somebody just ruined them with some paint. And these are great. These are some Echo Biome. And it's like yak leather. Did really good on those, I think $60. Very happy with that. My local thrift store, this is one brand that they never price up. 
and I'm always looking for them in the shoes. That's the biggest thing I look for in the shoes there. All right, let's go through the clothing real quick. Pearl Snap shirt. This is a Wrangler. So you guys know I pay a dollar or less for these and usually sell them for 10 to 15 as long as they are in good condition. This is another Jose Cuervo single stitch vintage shirt. I sold one of these on Friday and then like two hours later, the same guy came and bought another one. So I'm actually didn't ship out the one on Friday. It's sitting on my desk. We'll throw them together and ship them both out. Then we got four pairs of jeans going out here. Nothing special on these. I will throw them up on the screen. Nothing I really want to talk about here. And the last thing is this vintage Mickey shirt kind of embroidered on there. As you can see, this is not in a bag and that is because it has been listed longer than I've been on the new inventory system. So I'm always glad to see t-shirts sell like that. But I'm going to ship this out, clear it off and then reload with our non-media non-clothing items so let's do this all right so here's everything else believe it or not something on this table sold for 140 dollars so if you want to pause and guess down in the comments below what is actually so valuable here that'd be cool but anyways let's take a look one cd i missed earlier this is jeff thinholt i've sold several of his things to different buyers so there is apparently some sort of demand here i sold like three things this year by him all came from the same lot that's why i had them all one big comfy couch plus usually big comfy couch stuff does pretty good a lot of like pbs stuff from the 90s until now really it all does pretty good except for sesame street because sesame street was so mass produced but all this other stuff big comfy couch dinosaur train whatever not a huge amount of stuff that was mass produced for it so usually holds its value okay it's usually worth picking up for at least a dollar or two not a huge value here but she did sell good Another one of these ISO 7X exercisers. I can pick these up in town for under a dollar all the time. I think we got like a whole trailer load of them here. This closeout place try to do here in town. That's now the bin store. And yeah, they've been slowly selling through them. And I see them lots of other places for sale. Those did sell. One piece of fabric. We got some little candy cane peppermint stuff. Sold good. Sewing machine parts. This machine I only have like two more parts left singer 237 little slide plate here we got a little shuttle hook and bobbin case here are some parts to a thread tensioner this actually went to a repeat buyer my first repeat buyer was sewing machine parts so I'm guessing that means they're a repair store or something and then this little plug this thing sold for like 16 17 dollars I usually don't list these but I've sold two or three of them so I probably should start listing them more often those all sold this is the big sale of last night. This is an iron. Now this thing, I couldn't find any comps on it. There was none on Terapeak. Nothing had been sold on eBay in the last two years. There's the brand on it, but I did look it up online and I found this brand was doing really good. So I priced it at like 180. I've kind of just been dropping the price a little bit here and there because there really hadn't been any viewers whatsoever. But for this specialized stuff, I'm not as concerned. Finally sold at 140. Very, very happy there. This is a part to a Swin vintage like exercise bike. Actually just got rid of the frame of that the other night. Some people came and picked up a lot of scrap iron, clearing some stuff out. So that was really good. I paid $10 for that whole bike. I think this is like the fourth or fifth part I've sold off of it. Last two packs of these. I actually had two packs left. Somebody came and bought them. I thought I only had one, but those are finally done. One black and white photo. A whole bunch of kids in a crowd there. Pretty cool. This little pen and pencil set. Usually this quill stuff is worth picking up for a dollar or less. Any more than that, it's usually not worth it unless there's something special about it. This is, I'm not sure what this is. Off of a Ford Mustang. I think it goes on the trunk. That sold really, really well. I was very surprised at value when I looked it up. And another Ford part here. These are two cams. Those did go out. I sold two of these. I haven't sold any of these in a while. These are carburetors. This is from a repair shop in the next town over. I bought like a hundred of them for a hundred dollars. They just replace them anytime a machine comes in because they do not bother with rebuilding them. And that might not even be the issue, but that's kind of the first step they do on repairing a lot of things. It's just replace the carburetor. So I'm selling these as they need repair because they can typically be repaired. So yeah, very happy with that. Almost out of those, not too many left. 
The last thing is this safe in this box. I'm just gonna tape it shut, send it out very easily. Anyways, now we are going to open up this painting and see what it is. So let me try and do that. No idea if this is gonna be a dud or great, but we're gonna open it up and see what we got. I don't know, kinda of excited. But we could be looking at absolutely nothing. Else. When I bought this, I just kind of considered it a bonus. So let's dig in. All right, so here it is. Let's see, I'm gonna look a little closer here. I think this is a print. This doesn't look like an original. It is sign, John Jonders, I'm guessing. Really nice frame here. Oh, let's see if there's anything on the back, any information sometimes we do, yes we do. This is just about the framing, creative framing. I don't know. Um, let me look up John, is that Jonders? Let's see what I can find. All right, so I found, it is John Jonders, if I'm pronouncing that right. And I found a much smaller one. It was like 18 inches by two feet that sold for like $65. This thing is pretty massive as you can see here. It's a good size. It's like half of my table here. So I don't know, maybe a hundred dollars on this. Would you ship it for a hundred dollars? So I feel like this frame adds some value too. I'm going to list it. Shipping could be absolutely outrageous on it. But also on, in the description of these large prints or paintings, I always put that I will take it out of the frame and the shipping would be much, much cheaper. I do have some people take me up on that. Also going to put local pickup on this just in case, because this person looks like they do some sort of native artwork as well which does good in my area but John Jonders little horse painting I don't know I'm thinking 100 150 dollars who knows nice little surprise there but anyways all right guys thanks so much for watching I don't know that was fun I think it's really cool I don't know not our style though so it's not gonna go in our house but we're gonna sell it thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys next time goodbye